All right, Cole, what are we doing this time? Well, Gary, it's time for us to take our duck feed retreat. Oh, hey. Yeah. It's, it's about time. Yeah, I know, right? So I thought it was a joke that I got vacation time. <laughs> but. Well, no, no, it's it's going it's, it's to be mostly trust falls. Uh, but okay. the thing is, I do not know where I'm going to be dropping you on the ground at. <laughs> dropping me on the ground, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, for, oh, for, for, oh, forget doing, you heard that. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing um, the, the thing on the, the Simpsons episode where it's cheap. If you don't care where you go, yeah, it's a, yeah, so, exactly. It's 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 like a standby, right? We're gonna we're gonna fly into like the the single engine Cessna Gary Indiana mm-hmm. airport that's on fire all the time, <laughs> probably. Okay, uh, it's like that airport from Cincinnati, New York. Um, yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah let's uh, let's uh, let's let's uh, head over there and, okay. and see what the, they. The, the the slip here says we need to go down hall, hallway four J. Okay. Um, so I guess this is a gate, maybe or something. I'll go down this hallway for anybody. Okay. Um, all right. this, is, this is a this is really really long. Yeah, it's getting posh. Yeah, well, are, are those sconces, Gary? Uh, they're they're, uh, they're scepters. Are those scones, Gary? All right, let me uh, turn the door here. All right. Oh, oh, hey, hello. Greetings, gentlemen. Brayden, what's? I'm I'm thoroughly confused. I'm so pleased you got my invitation to fly on my airline. <sighs> This, this doesn't comport with anything I know about you, Brayden. I know, I've been keeping this really low-key. Uh, <laughs> look, I have two eggs, one for each of you. Hmm. Um, you can choose between the blue egg or the red egg. The blue egg will take you home, and you'll forget all about this crazy adventure, all about video games, and you'll become successful accountants. Or the red egg, where I'll take you on an exciting adventure known as managing your own airline. <laughs> those, those must sound very bland. <laughs> <laughs> but I use um, the word exciting. I guess, I guess, oh, do yeah, you have I'd... some hot sauce or something I can put on this egg? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And right, some okay. salt, too. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. If this isn't hard-boiled, Brayden. <laughs> Just sluicing down my chin. Yeah. yeah. And there's a, there's a... ah. Why did I take a bite of the shell? There's, there's a flash drive in here, and uh, and let me plug it into my wrist port. <laughs> and uh, oh, well, it's arrow biz. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how how, how appropriate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like you win this round, Arrow Biz. <laughs> oh gosh, what are your names? Uh, I'm Gary Butterfield. I'm Cole Ross. Cameron. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, train wreck. Right. Plane we wreck. Fucked it up. We did. No, uh, the rhythm's guys, off. I should have been the air traffic controller yeah, bra- for that. Brain, oh, man. I, I'm sorry. You have to go. Um, <laughs> it's, oh, it's okay. Rhythm is a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a source of pleasure. Um, Brayden, what's it's your a name? Soul companion. Mm-hmm. My name is Brayden Cameron. It yeah. was a callback to something no one will ever hear. <laughs> um, and that you guys don't actually. It was a callback to something that happened when you guys weren't there. Um, and then, who are you? Other who's whoever whoever's not Brayden and not me. Say who your name is. My my, my name is Cole. You, you Gary. I'm I'm hurt. You don't know me, <laughs> huh? I've never known you. <laughs> um, who can really know Cole? Yeah. And this is after suffering the show where we play uh, bad games. So you don't have to. Yeah, not bad games. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't really know how to describe it. I, I can't say enough to judge it. Actually, like it feels like sedate and strange and very out of place, but not bad. It moves slower than yeah. it feels like it does. Right. Like you play for a long time to do very little. <laughs> um, and as as you hear, we are joined by Brayden Cameron mm-hmm. of uh of the Teenage Dirtbags. Thank you so much, Brayden. Oh no, thank you for letting me come on your show. Yeah. Thank you for accepting the invite. Yeah. So, so Brayden, you've had a you've had a a love affair with Aerobiz for a long time. In fact, that, like that is like that is your go to kind of like how my how my grandparents always refer to video games as Mario's. Like just like oh yeah, Aerobiz, that's the game. 
Yeah, Brian's yeah, always yeah. talking about playing in first person arrow business. <laughs> I, play, I play a lot of puzzle arrow biz, and uh, I've been really into the most recent Metal Gear arrow biz. Um, <laughs> the arrow binding of Isaac. Uh, yeah, the arrow binding of Isaac. But to be honest, arrow I the did biz. play. I did play a lot of this game when I was younger, so mm. that's that's not incorrect. <laughs> What a cool kid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want you on my side in a fight. Yeah, <laughs> that's pick you right. first for kickball. Yeah. <laughs> um, <Of course. laughs> so, so the if anybody who's listening to this doesn't know the cover of Aerobiz for Super Nintendo, it's this is I found a new favorite Super Nintendo cover. <laughs> what was uh, the previous? Uh, what was the previous favorite? Hi, you know, that's a good question. Uh, probably Phalanx. <laughs> okay. Um, but but now Aerobiz, where it is like a CEO sitting in office, uh, looking out the window at an airplane flying by, uh, <laughs> clearly into his building, <laughs> like banking hard left to hit him. Uh, and he, he, he could his, not care less. <laughs> and his office is so high up, he can actually see the horizon of the Earth, the curvature of the Earth, <laughs> yep. and on to other continents. Yep. <laughs> Yes, he is. He is on the world's tallest panopticon, as CEO of the of the Earth. Yeah, he's, he's elected an Earth CEO. He's on the seventh floor, the seven thousand floor of the of the space elevator. Ex- I, mm-hmm. Exactly, the private space flight, and he just like this plane is going into his his panopticon, mm-hmm. and and he could not care less. While he simultaneously like talks on a phone, looks at a laptop, and moves papers about <laughs> yeah. uh, pa- papers with charts. And that's how you know it's important. He's the best. And, and then it says, as CEO, you call the shots <laughs> on the front, which every kid wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of the that's the appeal of the game is that you finally, <laughs> after being oppressed by your parents for so long, get to call <laughs> yeah. the shots. Yeah. You're not the CEO of me. You <laughs> say to your parents. <laughs> no. Mom, I can totally get a dog. I just, uh, you know, ran an airplane, uh, an airline out of Japan, and became number one for three quarters in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how much harder can it, can raising, how much harder could getting a go kart be than, than opening up negotiations with Sydney? It's a it's a responsibility game. And yeah. sending one of my white people down to Sydney. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sending Christian Slater down to Sydney. Yeah, hey guys. <laughs> Throw another me on the Barbie. <laughs> gleam that cube. I'm here to gleam the cube. When cubes get gleamed down here, it's the opposite. It's the Coriolis effect. Mr. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good show. Uh, the uh, so the the cover for Arab is Supersonic is not as good, but uh, still pretty good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. which is the uh, super sonic is like the expansion pack where they add future modes is that is mm-hmm. I, that's have yeah. you played super sonic before brayton i have played super sonic i don't remember it as well as as regular arrow biz mm-hmm. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> well, i i gotta tell you brayton i'm really disappointed yeah i thought uh i thought you'd bring a little I, bit I, more to the table i don't know i I prefer Aerobiz, no. Supersonic, and Knuckles, personally, <laughs> if I'm going to play one of them. <laughs> so, uh, uh, instead, instead of carts, like, locking on, they were shaped like planes that were refueling in midair. <laughs> <laughs> with, with their, yeah, with airplane penises. Yeah, Th- this, is, right. this is like a, uh, a blander version of, like, pilot wings, like an aesthetic. <laughs> like, the music and stuff, like, this is... It, it, yeah. I mean, it's not really the same type of game, but like the kind of what it's trying to present. Yeah, I feel like it's mm-hmm. like a pilot wings. Like if you're <laughs> kids, if you think that's fun, like mm-hmm. what would it be like to manage all of that? And then, <laughs> yeah, you know, like it's it's yeah. kind of like the uh, football manager 2015, as opposed to playing like the new Madden game. Yeah. Witness the wonder of aviation. Yeah, are we going to be able to see a completed box? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Look, Can we doesn't... get to fly the planes? <laughs> yeah. You can uh, watch a representation hey. of them flying. Go ahead, Brayden. No, uh, no, you get to watch a, represent- a representation, as you said. And then when you establish a new airline, you basically get the like Final Fantasy III uh, like victory music. <laughs> yep. <you> yeah. <laughs> yep. It's like one note off. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pc ass console game like i i 
yeah. I, I was I was shocked to see that this wasn't like a, that this wasn't an Amiga or Coleco thing. It's a, well originally for yeah. the FM Towns. The FM yeah. Towns yes. Marty. <laughs> so the FM it, Towns it, comma Marty. Gary. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you my name is Cole? It, it, so it did have a, those original like kind of old computers, mm-hmm. like the NEC PC thing, like those things. And, and it feels like as such. Um, and it's Koi. And that's what Koi does. Mm-hmm. Or Koei. Because mm-hmm. uh, because you guys have all played Koei games, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, like all of them. They make all my favorite <laughs> games about warriors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and they're various types: samurai, destiny, Gundam, Hyrule, yeah, Gundams. <laughs> oh Gundam, wow, uh, Orochi. <laughs> yeah, I was I was actually going to come on here and uh, talk about the game this like reminds me the most of, which is when I was when I was real young, I, I rented Nobunaka's Ambition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, because it was the Genesis game and there was yeah. a. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got some fans in the house. <laughs> Not just no, no Fudanga. Fudanga. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some sort of like weird, like nine. it's very 90s, like, uh, Ad for it, which would be like <laughs> Cowabunga Nobunaga, <laughs> N- Nobubunga. I, 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 we've talked about this before. Where I always thought it was Nabunga, which is just like a way less cool name than Nobunaga. Yeah. Nabunga's ambition, like it's just like his ambition is good to go eat a fudgicle. Like, <laughs> just I, dro- I dropped my pop. Yeah, my ambition is I'm no longer hungry, and I want to see if I can find the lid for my yogurt, so I can save the back half. <laughs> I got most of the fruit off the bottom, but there's some residual <laughs> syrup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Bunga. It's a what slice of life. With all this granola. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say you should put it in the yogurt, but you don't have to. You can save it for Slater. <laughs> I'll for take Slater. the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> More granola for me. For <laughs> 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 Eat me! I'm gonna make you bleed. <laughs> wow! Hold on, yeah. let me just back up. Did did Christian Slater just become Axel Rose? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Nobunaga's ambition. I had no, I had no business checking the Saturday date because it was just not what I was looking for. I see a picture of a samurai, and I think I'm going to be chopping stuff up, not you yeah. know managing my my, my fiefdom. So yeah, pu- pushing yeah. armies against one another. Yeah, and so to yeah. so to see that these are both made by the same people, like you can totally see the same feel and ethic between them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I like. I, I think this is almost like good and playable, except that it's like playing a board game where you have like a video game version of a board game where you have to watch the other players do their entire turn. Yes. Like the, the space between it. I do not like the, the waiting for the other player as part of this. Mm-hmm. Is it, there a way to get through that? I just didn't figure out. I just jammed a bunch of buttons. Yeah. I, I totally I don't know if it worked. I just like <laughs> jamming buttons. You can hold down uh, uh, X to, or, or Y I can never remember which order they're in, but you can mm-hmm. hold down the top button in order to make text move slightly faster. <laughs> but that's that's the best I could do. I noticed that when I was so in the post round, like wrap up kind of thing, where it's giving you the summaries, um, I, I couldn't figure out which buttons were mapped to what. And so I was pressing buttons and advancing screens, but I was like lubing through them. So like yeah. there's advance the like in this section, but then there's like go to the next like subset of the spreadsheet. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, it is. It is real spreadsheety. It's it's like um <laughs> like a less friendly Sims or SimCity where like, you know, I don't know what like I know even less about managing an airport than I do managing a city. Right. Weirdly enough, and there's no like friendly cartoon to tell me what to do. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. what, what, and you've I mean, never like, lived in an airport that would be ridiculous. <laughs> no, like yeah, like there's no like the, the terminal too. <laughs> you know. Turkey, ter- ter- terminal velocity, yeah, yeah. Yay! Just the terminal cold <laughs> They couldn't get Tom Cruise back, so they got Tom Sizemore. It's really weird. <laughs> Gary, we can't leave this airport here. Quick, attach all the planes to it, and we'll drag it. <laughs> it's terminal terminal velocity. velocity. Uh, that's uh, this is not my joke, but that reminds me terminal the terminal two terminal velocity reminds me of my favorite fake sequel uh joke, which is uh War Horse 2, the horse war. <laughs> it. It's really great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um anyway, uh what attracted this to you to this, Brayton? 
Uh, I was a big fan of, of Koi or Koi or however you want to pronounce it. Um, or however it's actually pronounced, my apologies. <laughs> uh, games when I was younger, uh, we played a lot of like uh, Dynasty Warriors. Well, I'm sorry, not Dynasty Warriors. Like uh, Genghis Khan 2 and Nobunaga's Ambition and Romance of the Three Kingdoms games. So I was kind of already a grand strategy nerd uh, mm-hmm. as a kid. So just wanted to do something else. And like I was such a big fan of everything else they made. Ended up playing a bunch of Aero Biz. It's kind of weird. Like looking back, I don't think I ever was good at it um but you know it's it's has it has a weird like aesthetic that's similar to did you guys ever play utopia on the super nintendo no Mm -hmm. it was basically sim city but like in the future uh where -hmm. you could build like evil science labs and stuff like that that sounds really Um, cool it's actually kind of neat it was a neat game uh but yeah it had kind of a similar aesthetic so i think that part of it appealed to me as well Mm mm-hmm I could mm-hmm. imagine this, uh, to tell me if I'm crazy, I could imagine this being fun with a group of people if you weren't just watching the computer go, but it was like, hey, we're going to have AeroBiz night, and we're going to sit down and try and run this. Yeah? Yeah, that was yeah. It, it's my, my friend Marty and I, and uh, Gary, you remember Marty. Uh, FM, FM Towns, Towns Marty. Marty. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, he and I, you know, like we had, basically here was the routine every week of the entire school year. Uh, we had bowling Saturday morning, so Friday night I would stay at his house, and we would play video games way too late into the uh, evening. Uh, and by evening, I mean morning. <laughs> um, so, you know, after you've you've played every game, you end up at AeroBiz. <laughs> <laughs> but like his... And you play AeroBiz for uh, eight hours a week for mm-hmm. like seven consecutive weeks. I don't know. But like, it, it, like this just feels like a reskinned risk to me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like kinda. There's, there's, there's not. There's like less randomness, right? In it, it feels like it. It, it feels to me like you're setting up like a system of, of, you know, like building blocks, but without, like the 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 feedback is so slow mm-hmm. in this. Like mm. I, I set it on uh, not on the easiest mode, but on pretty easy, and it's doing pretty well. Uh, but you don't actually like make your money back from an investment for a very long time. Yeah, and I couldn't and find like a good balance in, sheet. Yeah, I, I didn't really know what to be putting money into. I'm like, okay, well, I'll make a couple of routes, and I'll send the guy to negotiate somewhere, and I'll build some some planes, and yeah. then you just kind of wait for a very long time. <laughs> for, and then that, you game shark. Doing, <laughs> yeah. yeah, then you game shark it and get <laughs> infinite money, so you can become even then though, like the game time gates you. Because you can only have like yeah. one negotiation going on at a time, or you have those limited number of negotiation negotiators. You can only build one hotel at a time. You can only have one set of planes building at a time. Like it has yeah. that that kind of thing going for it. So it just it's super weirdly slow. There is like when I was saying how there isn't a little friendly will right. You can go into a little like oh board your board room. room. You can go to the board yeah. of advisors. Yeah, you can go to the board of advisors. But for some reason, I couldn't exit out of it. <laughs> like it, it took me like I like it's a different button to get out of that screen or something <laughs> or they were just continuously like everyone needs to say their piece on every subject before I can go <laughs> or something it was I was stuck in there and I was like oh I, I broke the game yeah. like I, I just, it is just like being in a meeting simulator now um it's just it's just biz yeah, bits yeah uh, can I draw attention to the the box again and how the CEO is sitting in a chair made of purple hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it's an inflatable beach chair. Yes. It is kind of it's like one of those, that. Yes, it's one of those hand chairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, be, well, that would be really fitting, given what, when this game yeah. came out. Yeah. I give the orders. I'm in the grip of the pink palm. <laughs> yes. Not you. <laughs> You can get up into the pink palm in my forty-story panopticon. <laughs> then, then you can give me the orders. Yeah, I mean, like that's what you play as. You play as a cursor, right? Just a pointer, you know, like that. Uh-huh. that, that like that, like that seed is the locus of his power, but he can project an avatar. Yeah, like the Hamburglar. Yeah, like, or like the, those the things Glover. you shoot in Link to the Past. Yeah, or the Glover. Yeah. One more day till we're done. Yeah. The air, <laughs> the, air, the air business is rigged. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> uh, uh, and we're all too cold for this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting too cold for this shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a it is a chair made of purple hot dogs. It is that that is the most that's the most color. Like I'm not made of stone. I like a little bit of color in my office. Yeah. 
<laughs> look, look, look at my uh, look at my whimsical coffee cup. My, it's got the name of the company. Yeah. My, my 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 wife Deborah is a part time internal internal decorator. Is that the term <laughs> internal decorator? Yeah, that's yeah. right. She bedazzles my mouth. Um, and yeah, she told she, <laughs> she, she yeah. told me that this chair would have a little bit of pop. It was, it's a power chair. She said. There are and I trust Deborah. Yeah. But, but here my I am. lamp is on loan from the Library of Congress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, well, there's a plane coming to crash. Well, I don't, I don't like living anyway, so <laughs> my affairs are in order. I'll deflect it off of my hair helmet. Yeah, <laughs> his, tie, his tie is really colorful too. I like this guy. I think that he's he's living his his loudest truth as as he can mm -hmm. within the confines of what he has to do to make a buck. Yeah, I, I really think that the main character of Arab is he, you know he, he just he just shows kind of what the what the strictures of modern society and especially corporate culture yeah. uh, can do to a person. But uh, you know, it's the small gestures that help you kind of like break not break the borders, but rub up against them in a way that makes friction and heat. You know? Yeah, he he's holding up a mirror. Yeah, he's holding up a mirror. He's he's doing some fraudage on the edge. You know. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Product on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you. I mean, it is the the biz of the arrow, and who's better at that than the Smith of the arrow? I, and, um, <laughs> I didn't think about how funny the name of this is too, because uh, because it, it's a really dry simulator. But they took every like every possible way to make this sound like a cool version of that. <laughs> arrow biz. B i z. Yeah. Uh, so there has to be like, a, if not a word, at least some kind of description or a way to encapsulate this kind of like early '90s sedate simulation. You know, Wall specifically, what's what's that? Like Wall Street Kid? Yeah, like that, or uh, like mm. even like like uh, SNES Sim City kind of mm -hmm. falls into this. Like something that is that is just pleasant and inoffensive, and slow paced, yeah. and just kind of like feels like an incredibly grown up game. Those like, are good words yeah. for uh, it, like, like pleasant and, and slow paced. Yeah, grown it's, up. It's, it's, it's like a VH1. Game. Game. <laughs> yeah, so when you got too high and you were afraid everything else was going to freak you out, <laughs> and you left your video golf at like a friend's house. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. no. <laughs> the the guy who did the fact for this is uh, Dan Simpson, who did a uh, all amazing Infinity Engine like D and D facts. Oh wow! Like this guy, he's done the, like the the premier facts for for Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale and stuff. <laughs> it's really strange. That um, is the, the that is a uh, oh my gosh. Um, I forget what I was going to say. It's a very good fact. It's very thorough. Yeah, yeah. and th and this one, you know, it, it tells you this this game is like it's simpler than you think it is. Mm -hmm. It's like it looks incredibly complicated, but the the amount of things you can actually do are actually pretty simple. <laughs> you know, um, it's 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 fun to. Did you guys figure out uh, which scenario did you play? Oh, I played the Birth of Aviation. I played like the like the fifties one, like the Wright Brothers, like <laughs> yep. code one, where it's just you like bicycling with a thing with an umbrella on it off a cliff. Yep, <laughs> exactly. You know, uh, I, I got that, well, that dog's like this. not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? He 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 who dares wins. It's Except true. in my case, at which point, no, no, I did he not. Who, win. Who, he who dares dies from gravity fall. <laughs> yep. Um. What uh? Because I couldn't figure out like the, there's a difference like the other one. It's just different models of planes. Mm -hmm. um, I mm -hmm. think is the only difference. Like it's not like SimCity where you get these exciting different like this is what the airplane industry was like in 1972. You know, like yeah. like you're solving these crises. It's just like old plane, new plane. Yeah. Well, there's uh there's like geopolitics uh, factor into that uh, as well, right? Like if you start in Russia during the Cold War, do you have trouble buying non-Russian planes? Oh, interesting. Yeah, and it's weird because, like... Well, interesting is not quite the right word. <laughs> no, like, interesting is right. I mean, not fun, not exciting, yeah. interesting. Yeah, just, huh. yeah. yeah. No, and, like, uh, like uh, different uh, different cities will host the Olympics. Yeah, uh, I remember for, that. For specific years and stuff like that. So uh, I would imagine time taking, having some kind of factor. And then also uh, the idea that they're supersonic. Like, when you get, like, from 2000 to 2020, um, I imagine buying new, better planes with higher capacity and, like, different routes lets you basically change the shape of the map. Biotechnology, yeah. I imagine. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, like, it's a game yeah, of I, subtle differences. Yeah. I think in the I think it's the third scenario if you play as uh, Britain or, uh, or or France you get to, you get a Concorde which is mm. fun mm. so you get to fly that that thing really super fast yeah 
<laughs> well, no, you don't and get to fly anything. Extraordinary amount. Well, that's true. You get to <laughs> yeah. set up like an enormous number of uh, routes very quickly, and then charge people way too much money for it because it's so fast. Yeah, you're just you're you're just operating at a higher efficiency. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's like crazy taxi. <laughs> like I'll pay seven hundred dollars if you get me here in two seconds. <laughs> I really want the some KFC. margins are enormous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um oh man um the, like, com- the composer for this game um composed a lot of anime soundtracks but uh notably did uh soul edge the predecessor okay. to uh soul caliber did the mm-hmm. music for that mm-hmm. and then did uh the music for the cho and nikki fighting game oh i thought that was just grunts <laughs> <laughs> i mean that might yeah. have just been you okay yeah. oh yeah no, that's just uh, that the was grunt- the case for me. Yeah. That, that's the grunt scape I have going on in my brain twenty four seven. Yeah. Um, the, the the thing with Arrow is like one of the problems I had playing it, and and this is something you could get through trial and error. It's not criticism of the game is that I had no sense of the economy. Mm-hmm. Like what, like I didn't know what was a lot in this world, so I would go somewhere to negotiate and it'd be like, how many uh path or how many you know docks do you want? And I, and I I could choose between like one and sixty, and I didn't know what was a lot and what was a little. Mm-hmm. You know, like, what is too much? What does that mean? How you know, Like, maybe it's all in the manual, too. Like, again, it's not Chris's in the game, but it's very hard to just kind of pick up and play this game, Yeah, for me, at least. Mm-hmm. I got a pretty good sense, actually. So this is one of the ways that watching the other, the watching the computer take their turns helped, was, mm-hmm. like, you know, I didn't set any routes the first time because I thought that I had to negotiate for all of them. But no, there are some places that have routes you can take. And seeing that right. other people were doing that, let me know, like, okay, like, conceivably, this is something that I can do at this stage in the game, and not mm. something that could be later. So, like, that was a little bit of a little, little bit of a tutorial. However, it was easy mode, or not like the easiest, but whatever number two was. Um, yeah. So, who knows how good the decisions they were making were? The uh, you can set this up when you set up your the game. You it's defaults to it being four computers, and then you have to set it to man to be the man. But you could just watch the computer play Aerobiz against itself. Yeah. As, as long as you want. I, I wonder if there's a blog out there that's just like someone who's done that and let it run for as long as possible, kind of in that sort of same. Oh uh, man. Yeah, some somebody who plays uh, Civilization Three for twenty five years or something. <laughs> yep, I remember that guy. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah, I would I would be interested in reading that person uh attempt to make that entertaining <laughs> for as long as they, they could. <laughs> uh, yeah, at some point they just they posit that Japan has you know, the AI for Japan has actually become self aware <laughs> and but yeah, I, posit- I just chose Japan at random. It wasn't uh, it wasn't Wait a minute, all these all It was the, just a random choice. All these weird all of these planes they're flying to Japan like to this place but there's no passengers it's full of microchips did, did we just write um <laughs> like a really bad like creepypasta like the arrow biz creepypasta where <laughs> all the planes fly into Japan but nothing flies out yeah <laughs> it's like I got I picked up this arrow biz from a from a garage sale it was missing the label but it was a little weird when I put it in it was kind of distorted and then there was there yeah. was a uh, weird sound effects I'd never heard it sounded like a little bit like somebody crying <laughs> Uh, help 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 (laughs) help i am trapped in aerobiz i am also playing i am also using a ham radio (laughs) this plane is about to hit the building please (laughs) please i'm trapped in an illustration i'm sitting in a hot dog chair (laughs) the only way you can talk to them is by going to the the meeting mechanic over and over again that's why they they, they wouldn't let you go they were so lonely gary (laughs) <laughs> please stay a while stay forever um you can check out you can never but we leave. have so <laughs> much data to go over yes. we will fill your brain <laughs> let the bodies hit the floor let the bodies hit the floor <laughs> <laughs> See, like that, Why are they, that, that's a drowning pool. That's really weird. Well, what's funny about that is it gives me a very good idea of when that person was Captain End into that cartridge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was, he was, he was in his Beamer listening to the radio. Yeah, and that song came on. It's like that Life on Mars TV show. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Dan Simpson, the guy who did the fact, recommends you just watch the computer play for a while. No, oh, I could see like, that. No thanks. In the, Let's shoot myself in the foot instead. That sounds awful. <laughs> well, you learn the rhythm of it if you want to play some Arabis. Yeah, I'm and sure there's like a good let's player out there. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I tried. I tried watching some Let's Plays of it. it was, <laughs> there weren't any. There were not any good ones. Uh, oh. <laughs> you say, didn't you say the speed route is like ninety minutes? Yeah, there's a speed run that's like a for scenario three is like an hour and fifteen minutes or something. Um that's but crazy. it's there's no commentary. It's just like <laughs> someone quickly <laughs> clicking for that long. Yeah. Well, what, what I want is the esports version of Arabiz where the where the players are like too busy concentrating to speak, but there's a color commentator and a technical commentator. Yeah. Like yeah. and we see here he opened up a route between Atlanta and Washington. That seems like a real risky move. Well, actually, back in nineteen sixty-four. <laughs> yeah, you get a get a shoutcaster. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's on. It's team team volitions doing something weird. <laughs> he knows he can tell the RNG is gonna give him uh he's gonna give him Rio de Janeiro uh, <laughs> Olympics. It's gonna happen. That's why he's setting it up. It's, it's like, weird that uh the, the Olympics things are RNG based because those yeah. happened in places in years. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely <laughs> happened in places in years. Yeah. Like, uh, hmm. man. The old Aerobiz. You know, just, uh, you know, just headed to the rat race. Do you, uh, do, mm. do you, have you guys, uh, do you guys still like flying or you guys gotten to the point now where it, it, it's lost all its novelty? And you oh, don't it's like a it? dreadful chore. Dreadful chore? Yeah. Where, where are you at with flying, Brayton? Uh, I don't do it very often, so I, I, I'm okay with it. Hmm. I I go through like a cycle every year. Like I, if I fly like twice in a year, the second time I'm like not into it. Mm -hmm. The first time Mm -hmm. I'm always kind of into it though. Like I, I I grow to like it again. The the only, the the only enjoyment that I derive from flying now. And like I've, I've flown more in the past five years than just I I ever had before. Um, is the fact that I feel like a semi-competent traveler now. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I know all of the marks that I need to hit in order to make, the process as smooth as possible. Mm. And so, you know, getting through security on time and like being places where they need to be and like being a conscientious traveler, like all of that feels satisfying to me in a way that like, you know, offsets my befuddlement in the early days. Yeah. Early on, the first time I flew like alone, it was definitely weird. Yeah. And it was kind of hard. And then like, I I eventually got used to it. And like now I kind of like, it feels the same as like being in a mall, (laughs) you know, like you go there and it's like, Oh, I like, I, I'm, Restricting the the food I can eat and I can like window shop some stores, mm-hmm. um, but mostly it's just like kind of like being in a mall. And then like the actual process of being on the plane, I usually don't find very pleasant. No, no, you're stacked like cordwood. Like yeah, I, I mean it's weird that I kind of like the airport part, which is like the part I think most people hate because they're like I can't w- wait to get on that plane and get drunk. I never <laughs> understood that because that that will make me vomit. Yeah, that seems like a bad airport. idea. Plus yeah. you have to get up and go pee a whole bunch. Oh yeah, yeah. and I, I I will I will never get up and go pee in a plane. Yeah, like if I if yeah. I can help it, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I sent you guys an image in the Skype. Let me know if you get it. I just, it, there's a specific advisor who's a real sad face. <laughs> yeah, you're the guy who looks like um, uh, like Ted Cruz, kind of. Or something yeah, like that. Like, he's, he a real, like, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a real ca- candle boy <laughs> McBelt head. <laughs> That's a nice segue going into the next episode mm. that we're recording. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Um, do, we have any, do we have anything else to say about Aerobiz? No, like this, this definitely tickles my like fastidious nerve. Oh, wow. I see him now. That is totally. Does that definitely tickle that fastidious nerd for you? Yeah. Like this particular droopy face Ted Cruz guy. Sorry. No, I did. I just got it. No, no. Like it definitely tickles like the part of me that like, you know, really enjoyed playing Lemonade Stand when I was seven years old. Oh, sure. You know, like just, yeah. Like, is it a game that I would have time to play right now? No, but like there's dna here that i really enjoy so so yeah like you know what 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 if 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 you think that lemonade stand is too fast paced <laughs> like this is a game for you if like you can't handle the the fast paced action of that <laughs> brayden did it did, did it hold up for you no no <laughs> <laughs> it was it was again it was like we've already said it's way too slow paced and i was i was just kind of like uh while I was playing it, I was, the half hour couldn't have gone uh, slower. Um, <laughs> and, and I also tried to watch a bunch of Let's Plays to to get a better idea, and it just was not. It's not doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's a. Uh, I would agree with that. It's not. I mean, it's like you know, if I was a kid, I would have played it. It's the same, the same impulse in me that wanted to play Harvest Moon, who was like, "Oh, that sounds awesome." It's a, you know, it's a slow farm simulator. That's a weird idea for a game. Mm-hmm. Then, yeah. then I would have been. You know, that part of me likes it. But every other part of me screams in, in frustration. <laughs> yeah. 
it, you, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a dad game. Like it's, it goes beyond being mm-hmm. a dad game. It goes to being an uncle game a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle game is a good, good way to put Aerobiz. Yeah. Uncle Aerobiz. <laughs> um, Brayden, thank you for joining us. Yes, we appreciate it. Thank, thank you for having me. It was a delight as always. Happy to have you. And hey, for people who are listening to this, like like a week ago, <laughs> uh, there's a uh, there's a thing you could listen to what we're recording after this. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, uh, thank you, Cole. <laughs> I guess. I, <laughs> Gary, what's we're happening? Us in oh. the future, which is the past. Yeah, I've, I've become on second time. <laughs> Gary, Gary, you have a nosebleed. I don't know if you know that. Uh, um, <laughs> yes, I have come on second time. I apologize for that. No, but, um, but, but if you're listening to this and you like this particular dynamic with these three people, um, I will have been going to be a guest on uh, Teenage Dirtbags talking about yes. uh, uh, some Bowie videos. Yeah, future in perfect, proper <laughs> perfection format. Did you say perfection? Um, yes, perfection. Nabunga's perfection. <laughs> <laughs> my, cheese, my cheese crackers didn't come with the red spreader thing. <laughs> so my ambition is to get new spreader. Thank <laughs> like, no Bunga just used piece of wood from table. <laughs> no Bunga used mouth to spread cheese. It no work. <laughs> no, uh, no Bunga make do. <laughs> Get in trouble. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anywho, uh, if you like the show, you can also rate and review it on iTunes. You can become a patron mm-hmm. on patreon.com forward slash duckfeedtv. I like how we say Patreon, where some other creators just go patron.com. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that is so misguided. Yeah. Huh, you want them to go to the place where they can give you money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ratings, reviews. Yeah. Awesome All good. that good stuff, telling friends. Yeah, we really appreciate mm-hmm. it. Indeed. And uh, you should listen to bon- uh, Teen Shirt Bags. Yeah. yeah. Bonfires, I chat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should listen to that. <laughs> you should listen yeah. to the most popular show on the network. Yeah. yeah. Give it a shot. Give that underdog a shot. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, just... I'm so sick of people bad-mouthing the Super Bowl every year. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with anything gary <laughs> no it's just that the idea that like this thing that is it's popular an underdog. Oh, okay. yeah. like treating something that's popular like it's an underdog yeah we don't like, watch this that's not going to stick around exactly every time the uh the super super bowl comes around people go online they're like god i'm so sick of people making fun of this like just let everybody have their enjoyment and like Dude, you're fine. Well, it's the biggest mm-hmm. sports event of the year. You yeah. are fine. Yeah. Well, also, people who say sports ball are kind of dicks. It's like annoying, but I don't think it's I don't think it's worth commenting. It's, <laughs> it's not, not worth as big as, It's not a problem. About. It's not as annoying or as dickish as the entire like multi trillion dollar culture advertising. About, yeah. Yeah. The entire violent like stupid culture around the thing they're making fun of. Like <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a big concussion party. Like great, you know. That's, <laughs> Gary, yeah, go to what, bat for that. What's important is I can feel better than all of them. Okay. I, that, that's yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, that, that's different. Like we'll get a, we'll get a football game suggested at some point, and then I can talk about how they cause more concussions than they prevent, and um, somebody can call us out for not knowing anything about sports. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for listening. <laughs> yep. Um, <sighs> who is Biz Dog? Help! 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>